my Gemini. Let's see what is going on for you, my loves. So, King of Pentacles is up right here, as well as the Hermit card reversed. I am feeling that. King of Pentacles and the World card is here. That's really beautiful. I love to see that as well. The Moon card and the World card is here reversed. So let's go ahead and see. For those of you guys that are tuning in, wow, world card is jumping out again. These readings are for you, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And they are also timeless. However, I really want to encourage you to check out my recent upload and post, because I'm always uploading them, to give you a full breakdown into the week ahead and what you can expect because it's important that you receive that message. All right, Gemini, so moon card. <laughs> the moon card is here, you guys. I just wanna sit down with you really quickly. Of course I do. Um, something about this, Gemini, and I'm, I'm, you know, I'm talking with spirit right now in my head and I'm listening to what they're saying and it just feels like I don't wanna drag you um, or drag this. I want to talk about it. I want to talk about it clearly and honestly. It feels like, are, have we have we learned a lesson here? <laughs> oh, oh God! <laughs> Gemini's, what's going on? Eight of Cups, Empress card, Chariot, Tower, Six of Swords, Temperance reversed, Queen of Pentacles, King of Wands reversed, Eight of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. I keep going. Page of Swords, Nine of Swords Reverse, Emperor Reverse. Okay, guys, have we have we learned? Are we learning? Are we learning? Um, the word that's coming through is examination. You're in a space and a stage in your life right now. Don't click out. I promise this is gonna be. Should I have a way of turning messages around so that they really do support you? <sighs> You're in a stage in a space right now, my loves, where you are being enlightened into your own self-worth, your own self-value and substance. I'm noticing that a lot in all of these. Uh, so far, I mean, I'm doing the zodiacs, zodiac signs each in um, a sequence from in their order. So, And I've noticed so far that... Uh, Aries and Gemini kind of have very similar message. Well, Aries and Taurus have very similar messages to you of it, understanding, knowing, and knowing your self worth and your self value. Um, something about this Eight of Cups, this man resting on the shore. I'm getting a sense of security blanket and comfort. And the subconscious. What is the subconscious security blanket and comfort that you're holding on to? Um, this is not a bad thing. I'm, I'm getting a vision of someone kind of suckling their thumb. Sometimes a security blanket, look you guys, when things get weird or when things get tough, it's okay. We all have things that help us to comfort, but we don't want them to limit and stop our own growth, our own advancement, our own um, creativity, our own passion, our own spark, you know? So what are you holding on to here? And I, I get that any other tarot reader or any other intuitive intuitive would say with the Eight of Cups, you know, you are walking away from, but it's like you're walking through this world. I'm not going to lie to you. It's like you're walking through this world and you're just kind of wrapped up in this blanket of and needing to really comfort yourself because it that's the only way that you feel like you're like, I don't know why I'm hearing sustaining. Like the thing is, is that um, I can see that there have been a series of, look, and even with temperance card here, you guys, this is the only way that you've learned how to cope, or this is the way that you're coping with it right now. And spirit is saying, again, no judgment, no harshness, but a lot of you, a lot of us, we must be going through this. Well, we are. That's why I'm check out good current transits. You guys, we have to see, we have to see, we have to observe, absorb, absorb, we have to observe what we are absorbing and transform it and shift it. Why? Because there is radical change that's happening here and radical shift. And some of you guys are holding on to this security blanket and it's it's there to comfort you, but also it's uh, 
it's it's you know spirit is wanting you to 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 strength strengthen up you know and 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 to believe in yourself and to believe in your self-worth and your value and to stay in this space right now where you're holding on to this comfort zone or whatever this is it could be you staying in a relationship or a friendship or a connection that kind of high key drives you crazy or there's aspects of it that drive you crazy and then you just you know inhale and exhale and try to be patient with it and it just it doesn't feel like it's working out for you there's always two sides to everything I'm noticing um yep my loves the owl and the dog card. I really, you're really being called to observe your loyalties. Um, really being called to observe your loyalties and what you are waiting to show, what and who you are waiting to show up for you because it hurts you so much when they don't show up, when it doesn't work out, when it doesn't play out and then you just kind of go back even further into your comfort blanket into your self-soothing it's one thing to take the time out to treat yourself like a queen or goddess an empress energy no matter how you identify um but it's another thing to stay in that space too long and just overly you know rest in it because king of wands is here reversed and says come on out come on out like come on out you know really get get on out there's a whole world here and some of you guys look you, spirit is calling you to be a little bit more selfish this is the fox some of you guys look at the fox or some people look at the fox and they say it's evil it's manipulative you know it's it's it has an ulterior motive but like, don't we all, you know, it's all about the intention. If your intention is bad or evil, then, but I don't necessarily think that you guys are bad. Well, I know that you're not bad people. Um, I know that you know that you're not bad people, but spirit is saying like, you know, kind of, I don't want to say, well, there's two messages here. Yes, be more self-centered, more self-focused, but I'm also seeing like you getting out, like you kind of moving in order to get what you want in order to claim what you want and i just feel like you're being called into that right now i'm getting a sense that you have to put that letter out there you have to write it i don't yes you have to choose what you are going to put out you are you have to choose this means that you either choose to stay in the tower and if you need to by all means there's no judgment but at least observe at least observe that's it at least observe you either stay in the tower or you get out the garden here is all about being public it's all about putting yourself out there wow i i can't decide if i want to just totally killed my vibe the google hey google turn the music off Sorry about that, you guys. I don't want to pay for a membership on any of them, to be <laughs> honest with you. Because <laughs> I haven't decided. <laughs> I haven't decided which one I like better. So I just kind of, that, that's not the point. The point is, my loves, you decide. <laughs> the point is, you choose what you want, you know, and really kind of observe big, big time. Really observe. The thing is, my loves, last thing I'll say is when you observe your loyalty when you observe what you are waiting for you know to come and care for you and take you know for what you want to happen to you or how you want things to be and how you want things to look you're kind of putting yourself in on um in ice a little bit like you're kind of making it choosing uh choosing to not choose you know what i mean because a, a part of you kind of senses um you know 
a part of you senses like I, I'm getting a sense that you're picking up on a subconscious need like a wounded child need like I need this person to come through or I need this to choose me or I need this to happen because then it'll help to heal this aspect within myself that still believes that it's not that it's not I'm not worthy or that it's not gonna happen but the thing is is that you end up you get to choose what you give to yourself and what you allow yourself to believe and that's where the healing comes from and in this space where you might be it, whether you're in the tower or you're, whether you're public it's up to you just kind of examine it um, in this space you guys you are invited to see the fact that in those things that you are walking away from or in those things that you are letting go of there is a seed of life there that is implanted within you and that is the biggest blessing and spirit says when you're ready i'm really hyper focusing on the star right above her head when you're ready you will know when you're ready you will hear it when you're ready you'll come out but spirit is saying listen we want to encourage you to take to start to take that step and the first step sometimes is, is a small step just by in observing and seeing and then the next step is manifesting because there's something about seeing, hearing, and knowing that allows you to manifest manifest exactly what it is that you need. Um, and there's this whole, there's this message right now that says, "I am." It's a mantra. I am whole and complete as I am. I am whole and complete as I am is really what's coming through for you guys that I keep hearing in the background, and it it it's really there to empower you. It really is there to empower you, especially as you are. Uh, letting go of this security blanket. I'm curious to hear what that is. And the other thing too, my loves, is that with all the cards that have come out, the High Priestess is the one that stands out to me the most. She's so strong, um, not in her ability to see how much she can take on or how much she can nurture or how much she can do, but, or what her worth it, or, or like what you know what how she looks or anything like that it's about how she feels about herself that's where her true strength comes from and her her peace of mind and her happiness and her joy and her health those are things that she really those are things that are really important and what spirit wants and sees for you and that's what you you want to be loyal to okay my loves so gemini i hope this message makes sense i know <laughs> if you look at any of the other zodiac signs it, there are some really tough messages that are coming through but I kind of love it because it feels very you guys have been hearing me say this a lot lately um, everyone's being cracked open right now in the most beautiful way so uh, please make sure that you're subscribed to this YouTube channel there's plenty more videos where this came from if this video helped you in any way hit the thumbs up button because that helps me tremendously I'll see you guys in my next one bye